I got terrified and I couldn't read Goosebumps until like high school. That's embarrassing. Hey everyone, I'm Catherine and I'm here today with a review for I Know What You Did Last Summer by Lois Duncan. Yes, I know what you're thinking and yes, this is the book that the horror movie from the 90s is based on. And trust me, it should have stayed in the 90s. I love horror movies. I love horror books. I love being scared stupid. It's why I love American Horror Story so much, especially the first season. I was terrified that the latex man was going to be in the corner of my bedroom when the lights were off. Like, it was awesome. So, when I saw that I Know What You Did Last Summer, which when I was growing up was one of my favorite horror movies, the cheesy kind, to watch, when I saw that it was based on a book, I figured I had to read the book and I needed to read it sometime soon. But sometime soon translated into several years later and I finally just got around to reading it and I was very disappointed. I didn't necessarily expect it to be exactly like the movie. If anything, aside from the characters, it was more like the second movie than the first. Which, sorry, it's kind of a spoiler, but the movie's been out for almost 20 years, so that's on you. However, I also knew that this was re first, oh, however, I also knew that this was first written in like the 70s. So I kind of went in expecting, you know, not what I got. So after the actual movie came out, eventually Lois Duncan was offered the opportunity to update her books for a younger, newer audience, which of course she took. Yeah, she should have just kept the book as it was, in my opinion. The way that new technology like cell phones and computers was written in seemed very, very forced. And honestly, I think it hindered the book a little. I would have been a lot more terrified had there have not been the possibility of a cell phone and just being like, hey, I'm gonna text you, this dude's the killer. No, it doesn't work otherwise. It also didn't help that I knew who it was from almost, I don't know, a quarter of the way through the book, less? I was doing part of this on audio, so to be completely honest, I'm a little mixed up as to where what happened as far as like completion of the book. But I knew who it was. I knew why. And it just, eh. I had to basically force myself to finish reading this. Yeah. I think I would have enjoyed this book a lot more had I have read it in the 90s when I was a child. Or had I have not originally seen the movies first, because let's face it, it kind of ruins it. I also think I would have liked it more had they have not tried to force the update onto it. It's like when they update Nancy Drew. Have you ever read the actual original Nancy Drew books? And I'm talking like the first couple publications. She was a racist, like holy crap. Some of the shit that she says or other people say in the Nancy Drew books would blow your mind now. I think reading this as an adult is definitely not as scary as it could have been had I have read it when I was younger. I definitely will force this onto my younger neighbors and terrify them, probably having their parents yell at me slightly, but let's face it, I mean, that's what awesome older neighbors are for. And to be honest, the parents are the same age as me, they probably want to read it themselves having watched the movie. Who am I kidding? The kids have probably watched the movie. Kids are so much older these days. Sadly, the one thing that really disappointed me about this is that there was no dude with the hook. But like I said, it was a lot more like the second movie than it was the first, which I think was actually pretty neat how they were able to, when making the movies, do the second one and have it also relate back to the original book. In short, I Know What You Did Last Summer is definitely not a read necessarily for adults. Keep it with the kids, keep it with the elementary schools, and keep it with their libraries. While I'm not necessarily regretting I bought this, I probably won't keep it unless I'm constantly loaning it out to unsuspecting victims 
who are still in single digits in their age. I can see where this book would become a quick classic with kids for anything in the horror genre and anything that would give you chills while you're reading it at night under your covers with a flashlight. I can also see the appeal as to why it has stuck around for 40 years. I mean, a book has to have a lot of staying power in order to do that, and the fact that it also sprung two movies from it is quite a feat. That being said, ugh, once was more than enough reading for me. Let me know down below if you've ever read the book, if you've watched the movies, if you've done both, if you liked it, and until next time guys, happy reading.